Good evening. Hi, uh, this is Tanya Greaser, and I am one of your uh, Everyday Essential Oil Educators with Team Olio, and I want to welcome you here tonight. Tonight we are going to be talking about our uh, the second class in the series of continuing education classes for the summer of 2020 uh, here on Team Olio, and this one is on nutrition and supplements. And uh, it looks like uh, and you can see here that we have a lot to get through tonight, but I'm going to try and um, make it just a little bit, uh, a little bit easier uh, for us tonight and go into a little more detail on a few products and just highlight some of the others for various reasons. So let's get this started. There we go. So first I want to remind everyone that I'm not a doctor um, or a medical professional, but I am a wellness advocate and I am certified. Um, I'm a certified essential oil specialist with over five hours and five years of essential oil training and certification from doTERRA. I cannot, doTERRA cannot, and essential oils cannot diagnose, treat, or cure any health condition um, and cannot prescribe medications. Um, instead, I can tell you that essential oils will strengthen your body on a cellular level and put it back into balance so that it has the ability to do what it does naturally. And that is, of course, to heal itself. I am going to tell you about the value of a book and a box of oils to manage 80% of your health and wellness needs and those of your family at home. Always seek professional medical advice if you have any questions or have any, of, um, any chronic health conditions are pregnant or nursing. Now, as I said, my name is Tanya Greaser, and I'm here to educate, empower, and encourage you tonight on your journey. I'm going to educate you about nutrition and supplements, and uh, hopefully you will leave empowered knowing that you have the ability to look after your health. Uh, and I will be here to encourage you uh, along your way. I truly believe there is a place for both natural uh, and traditional or modern medicine uh, in our world, we need to have both. Uh, it's, a, it's a matter of knowing uh, when and which to apply. And uh, that is partly why, uh, that's partly why you're here. Now, if you RSVP'd, you would have, uh, you will um, receive the digital dough dollars um, from Team Oleo. So digital dough from Team Oleo. Uh, and uh, I am keeping track of that uh, until the digital system is up and running. Uh, so make sure that you RSVP before, um, before you attend the live class in order to earn your, um, your digi dough. And um, once you have completed all eight of the uh, sort of uh, the, uh, the continuing education classes, and you can watch them by recording, uh, then you um, will receive a certificate of completion, hopefully at a local convention party uh, that your team leaders will be um, putting together if it's safe to do so. Uh, and um, you will have the opportunity to choose one of the doors uh, for um, uh, as a thank you gift. And so behind these doors, you will choose uh, a gift that maybe matches uh, the way that you prefer to use your essential oils. Uh, and that might be through um, aromatic, topical, or um, internal usage. Uh, internal usage through a water bottle, uh, aromatic through a diffuser necklace, and topical um, through um, some fancy roller balls in a roller ball case. Now, once you have watched the classes, um, you can go back to the Team Oleo or to the, the team website, everydayessentialoileducation.com, uh, and under the team leader tab, under the team uh, teaching tabs, team classes, you'll see my name, Tanya Greaser, and you can click on the very top there. There's a box that will take you to a form where you can go ahead and uh, enter the three code words that I'm going to tell you throughout the class. And then if you stay at the end to learn a little bit more about why I think doTERRA is an excellent business opportunity or um, just a means of um, creating a little bit of extra income uh, to get your oils covered or uh, for fun money, something like that, uh, then uh, there'll be a bonus word that you'll have an opportunity to, uh, to obtain as well. 
So let's jump right into our uh, wellness education series, nutrition and supplements. Now on the first picture you saw, there was a lot of pictures there. Um, I am going to simplify things uh, just a little bit because these seven, these seven products right here are all products that uh, really are uh, foundational staples. Uh, they make the essential oils work so much better. They make your, they allow your body to function so much better. Uh, and so um, I think that they all need to um, have their just do uh, explained about them. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to do one per week. We have seven weeks left. Uh, we're, I'm going to choose one of these per week and just highlight it. Uh, and uh, um, because they are, they are really um, so relevant uh, and so crucial to, uh, to do uh, on a regular basis, uh, regardless of the oils and some of the other supplements that you might take. These are the, these are the few that really should become um, second nature uh, to knowing why they should be a part of your health. So we'll come, we'll come back to that. So let me start with um, some questions. So why are people around us so sick? And this is, of course, excluding uh, the state of the world that we find ourselves in right now. But as a general rule, why are we becoming uh, a, a world of uh, overweight, um, unhealthy people? And it's primarily because of our lifestyles. Uh, and our lifestyles uh, include things like what we're eating, what we're putting in our body, uh, and uh, the things that we're choosing, uh, how we're choosing to get that. So do you think we need, we get what we need for good health from our food? That's a really loaded question. Uh, we have, um, there's all kinds of research, research and research and research that shows that the nutritional value of our food is not the same as it was in our grandparents' day. And uh, that's because of things like um, genetic modification, um, things like um, fertilizer programs, uh, and uh, being and producing things on a mass scale. So uh, because of that, our food has been altered. Uh, and there's, you know, again, lots of pros and cons, and it can actually be a very political debate as well. But for our purposes, what we can probably all agree on is that an apple today does not have the same nutritional value that it did a couple hundred years ago. Uh, and uh, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much uh, been, that's a conclusive fact that's been, that's been found. Um, and so we need to, and our bodies have, uh, you know, have adapted over time and what have you, but we still have some very basic functions and those functions are nutritional. Um, we are uh, living beings that need, uh, that uh, can only live with food and water. And, uh, and uh, we still need to have um, the healthy go in uh, as, as best we can. So doTERRA, of course, has addressed this. And uh, what doTERRA has done is um, taken a look at, oh, we have a, whoopsie. Sorry about that. Um, what doTERRA has done is recognized the, uh, the importance of foundational health and eating right hydration elimination. These are the foundations to good health. Um, it allows the body to function at its, at its best, at op optimal um, capacity, increasing energy, increasing mental clarity, uh, and um, has two very, very uh, in, um, big areas uh, on our body, body systems that are infected. So cardiovascular health and proper inflammatory responses. Uh, those are two huge areas within our body uh, that uh, nutritional, uh, nutritional uh, foundation um, really, really benefits. Uh, and uh, we feel it when those two areas uh, certainly take a, take a hit. So we're going to be looking at, of course, the, um, the foundational items at the bottom, uh, recognizing that if that foundation is not strong, it is not going to be able to hold the weight of, uh, of everything else that we need in order for good health.
Now I said I was going to come back and touch on on all those products separately uh, with the one exception uh, that just in case you are someone that is wanting to place an order and you um, and are considering the lifelong vitality uh, you cannot go wrong. I, it would be remiss of me to not tell you that you have a 30 day money back guarantee with this set. And uh, it's going to give you um, the absolute basics in foundational health from 12 servings of fruit and vegetables uh, with no fillings uh, and um, everything um, whole food based so that absorption is is maximum now we're going to go through them individually over the next seven weeks uh, but just know that there is no risk these are our whole foods there's nothing synthetic or chemical in it uh, and uh, and you have a 30-day money-back guarantee um, and so uh, if that is something that you are interested in i encourage you to uh, to go ahead and, and do that uh, now, we are going to focus today on Terrazyme. And the reason that I chose to start with Terrazyme uh, is because uh, in order for us to get the most of our nutrition, if we want to maximize what we're putting into our body, we need to have the enzymes to break it down. If we don't have the enzymes to break it down, we get no energy out of them. Uh, and so, uh, we want to maximize what we're putting in. So if we're going to spend the time, the energy, and the money on getting good quality uh, supplements, we want to make sure uh, that they're getting absorbed. If we're going to spend the time, energy, and money on, on organic, uh, grass-fed beef and, and, um, and non-GMO, you know, fruit and vegetables, uh, we want to make sure that every ounce of that is being uh, is being absorbed, right? And so pairing Terrazyme with your, uh, with your nutritional diet now is going to pay off, uh, is going to pay off significantly. So what you want to do is um, Terrazyme is uh, available both in the Canadian and the American markets. And it is an, um, now it is actually an enzyme. There are no oils in this product. So it's a proprietary blend of active food, um, whole food enzymes um, that support, I'm just gonna actually shrink up. Here we go. Uh, that support, I'm sorry, just one second here, folks. Uh, that support um, mineral cofactors and are often deficient in cooked, processed, and preservative-laden foods. So Terrazyme supports the body's constant production of enzymes. These are digestive enzymes or pancreatic enzymes, um, critical for healthy biochemical functions throughout the body. So we need enzymes to break down our food. If we're eating lots and lots of raw, fresh vegetables, uh, they have lots of enzymes in them. Um, however, if you're uh, if you, you're not able to, uh, to get your hands on seasonally, financially, you know, fresh vegetables, uh, and you're using, you know, canned, uh, those, those, um, uh, and you're cooking your potatoes and you're cooking your carrots, uh, you're, you lose the enzymes in it. Uh, and so we want to make sure that you're, uh, that you're getting, uh, the enzymes that you need. Uh, and so, uh, the primary benefits are going to be things like healthy digestion because you're breaking down your food. You're not getting that uh, that sort of splashback, right? Um, speeds conversion of food um, nutrients to cellular energy because we want food to be converted into energy. Uh, promotes um, GI comfort, supports healthy production of metabol um, metabolic enzymes, which are different than digestive enzymes. We'll talk about that in a sec. Has um, has 10 active whole food enzymes. It's actually been increased to 14 active whole food enzymes. And it's safe to be used by everyone in the family. And yes, you can break it apart. You do not want to take uh, a, a terrazyme with something hot like coffee or tea. Only if it's been cooled down to you know, even just slightly below room temperature because the heat actually destroys uh, the enzymes from working properly. Uh, so what exactly um, are enzymes? Well, enzymes do more than we think. So enzymes are not only f um, necessary for digesting food, uh, but they're also good for converting nutrients um, to energy. 
uh, in cells. And so um, they play a critical role in growth, healing, reproduction. They're necessary for everything. So for breathing, thinking, immune function, hormone regulation, detoxification, uh, and thousands of other, I mean, look at the, those body systems. Those are that, you know, pretty much touches on every body system. So tons of biochemical functions. Our body works on um, relying on enzymes. Um, the body's constant need to produce digestive enzymes enzymes can result in chronic deficiencies in metabolic enzymes that are critical for optimal health and cell function. So this was something new that I learned. So um, digestive enzymes are created, you know, in organs like the pancreas. Uh, and metabolic enzymes are not, they're created when we're born. And we are given a certain amount of metabolic enzymes. And when you um, are not creating enough digestive enzymes, your body actually steals from the metabolic enzymes, which are actually supposed to be used for doing other things, not digesting food. So really we're doing what this little picture is, we're robbing Peter to pay Paul and uh, we need everybody paid. So um, this, was, this was enlightening for me uh, that you know our body does what it needs to do to survive and our body needs food. So if we're taking important enzymes away and once we're, and those metabolic enzymes are, are important for things like, the, we're gonna notice them in areas like aging. So um, growth, healing, reproduction. And uh, so you're going to, uh, your body is going to age faster um, because it doesn't have, and when it runs out of those metabolic enzymes, then it's out of, of metabolic enzymes. Our body doesn't create anymore. So we wanna prevent that from happening. Now, what are the digestive enzymes in uh, Terrazyme? So these, this is the breakdown. Um, so we've got protein and amino acids. So we're looking at, I mean, some of the highlights here, some of the things that you're gonna recognize. So um, lipase, fat and oils, lactose, cellulose, sucrose, um, and an anti-gluten. So these are all the kinds of these. This is an example of what, sorry, there is, I made a mistake in saying 14. There's a different slide for that. Um, there are 10 digestive uh, enzymes in terazyme. And uh, these are the 10. And uh, you can see the kinds of things that it, that it does. And you take a terazyme immediately before you take your food. So you, you know, it's, it would be wise even to leave it if you're someone that has, you know, a little salt and pepper or a napkin holder sitting in the middle of the table, your terazyme should be sitting there too, uh, because you should be popping uh, two terazyme in your mouth for a large meal. You can go up to four, depending on what um, health conditions you're, you're struggling with. I personally can take up to four uh, because I have some specific GI um, issues that I'm dealing with. Uh, chronic conditions. Uh, and, uh, but uh, small meals, you would take one. Um, now, if you're eating just a nice, healthy, crunchy, fresh salad, uh, you may not need to take any. Um, and so it just all depends. So um, that's, uh, that's based on your body's need. Uh, now, what makes terazyme, so doTERRA's terazyme, like no other? Well, it's a proprietary blend. It's got patented enzyme assimilation system. So um, all of these essential whole mineral cofactors, including 72 trace minerals, it's just chock full. It's uh, got the tummy tamer blend in it to just to help settle your stomach, made with a whole food formula. Um, and is safe for everyone to use, including pregnant and breastfeeding moms. That quote comes from the, uh, the essential midwife, uh, who is um, very educated. You can look her up, you can Google the essential midwife. Uh, and uh, she's very educated, well-read, experienced um, midwife uh, who uses uh, doTERRA in her practice. Um, now, Terrazyme can be purchased as part of a kit. So when you buy the Lifelong Vitality Kit, that foundational kit of vitamins, minerals, and omegas, um, you um, have the option to purchase Terrazyme. 
uh, at a reduced price, at approximately half price uh, from what you would normally pay for it on its own. Um, and uh, this is part of the Customize Your Pack and Save program. And every time that one of the products is in that Customize and Save program, I will make sure to let you know. Now, nutritional supplements. So this is just a, a cute little cartoon to sort of show you uh, how the enzymes, um, enzymes work. So Pac-Man there is an enzyme and a substrate is something like a food. Um, and enzymes are specific, right? So we've got metabolic enzymes and then we've got digestive enzymes. And these digestive enzymes attract and um, food is attracted to these enzymes because only they can look after it. So once you have, once your enzyme has attached itself to that food substrate, it cre oops, I went through that a little too fast, didn't I? It spits out the energy that we need in the form of glucose and fructose, which our cells then metabolize and off we go to the races, okay? Now, this is part of your handout um, as we move into the handout oils uh, and um, make sure to scroll to the bottom of, uh, of the Everyday Essential Oil Education page under my name uh, in the teen classes. Uh, at the very bottom will be your week two uh, handout and you can print it and this is on there if you want to make notes to follow along. And then I'm going to suggest that you keep this handy because you're going to need this for future classes as well. We're going to talk about, I'm going to uh, give you one more little science lesson and only because it's really important to understand uh, what free radicals are and what antioxidants are. Um, now, free radicals, they are unstable molecules with an unpaired electron. So I just want you to think about the fact that, that we have in our body molecules and on our molecules, we have electrons, okay? And um, electrons work best when they have a partner, when they're paired. So you have all of these paired electrons sitting on a molecule, okay? When you have a, um, an altered uh, molecule that has unpaired electrons on it. So you've got these single electrons sitting on these molecules. Um, they make them vulnerable to um, free radicals. Okay, and free radicals are created by, um, our body creates free radicals naturally, part for one. Uh, and two, um, free radicals are created uh, through things, uh, there's a process where they're created through um, the toxicity that we bring into our body that we're exposed to, okay? So um, they're unavoidable. Uh, we can't live without free radicals. All we can do is make good choices to reduce the, uh, reduce the amount um, that is dangerous. So um, electrons are, are most stable in pairs, right? So free radicals attach themselves and steal electrons. So when you have a free radical that's created by say some a toxicity in your, in your, that you're exposed to, uh, and it's going to search your body until it finds a molecule that has unpaired electrons. And then it's going to attach itself to that. And it damages it and it makes it a free radical as well. So now you have two free radicals that are now scourging your body, looking for unpaired electrons so that they can pair up with it and steal it and make it a free radical. It's like a game of tag, right? So tag, you're it, you now join our team. Um, and um, this process of what it's doing when it tags these other, other molecules is known as oxidation. Okay, so it's damaged them, it's destroyed them, it's, it's, it's put them through a process of oxidation. So what are antioxidants? So antioxidants come into the rescue, they are the superhero, okay? So they are able to bounce around to all of these free radicals and they give them a pair. So they're, they're no longer um, paired with uh, attached 
as they are no longer a free radical um, with one unpaired electron. They now have a pair and the antioxidant is its pair. And uh, because now they are, um, you know, their safety in numbers, strength in numbers, there's two of them, free radicals are not able to attack them anymore. Okay, so free radicals for the most part, bad. Uh, because we make too many of them, our body can't keep up. Um, antioxidants, superheroes, good. We want them to eliminate and reduce the free radicals. Now, we do need free radicals, as I said, okay? So free radicals actually play a huge part in our immune system um, because what they do is they mark damaged tissue and then the body works to destroy that tissue so that we don't have, a, we don't have damaged cells floating around in our body. Uh, and um, when one cell dies, another one is born. And so we want to make sure that we're constantly um, regenerating. The problem is when we have too much because we've, we're exposed to more than our body can handle. Um, again, you know, looking back in time and, and looking to the looking to the future, uh, we didn't have um, all of these toxic chemicals in our cleaning, in our food, um, you know, it, cars, all of this toxicity um, floating around us. Uh, and so we didn't need, maybe need to take worry about antioxidants 200 years ago. Uh, but with the with the introduction of all of these chemicals, we have way more than our bodies can handle. Uh, and so uh, we need to uh, we need to get them back to a, a, a safe level within our body. Okay. So here's a just a fun little. Um, little piece of knowledge that we're going to work with. So exogenous antioxidants are antioxidants that come from food. Endogenous antioxidants are antioxidants that our body makes, right? So we have antioxidants because our body is designed to look after itself and to get rid of its own naturally producing free radicals. But it can only take care of what we produce. It's not designed to take care of the overload that we're, we're putting on it with all of that toxicity we're exposed to. I thought this was hilarious. So knowledge is knowing a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. Philosophy is wondering if that means ketchup is a smoothie. I just thought that one was too cute, too cute to, uh, to not mention um, as we move through and take a look at our antioxidants because tomatoes are amazing antioxidants. Now the first product that we're going to talk about is the deep blue polyphenol complex. So um, the deep blue is uh, is an amazing um, is an amazing product, uh, and it's one that I actually have used for a very long time, and then just recently switched over to a different set, um, uh, the the turmeric double encapsulated and copaiba to give that a shot. Um, not that I was super thrilled about changing. Uh, wanting to get rid of my deep blue because I relied on it for so long, but wanted to give something else a try. So um, the deep blue poly, um, polyphenol complex is part of the deep blue family. It is not the same as what's in the deep blue oil, okay? It's just part of that family. Um, it helps support muscle and joint comfort and function, soothes occasional aches and discomforts. Uh, you would use it in tandem with the deep blue rub or the deep blue oil. And you can take daily or as needed. So you can take it as part of your um, your daily supplement routine. So if you're taking it, of uh, um, you know every morning or you know with your supper, um, which, whichever. Or if you're only taking it as needed when you have a especially hard workout or you're working in the yard, and uh, or uh, or maybe you've got a headache. Um, this can be something that you might. Um, take a look at. Now, deep blue. You're going to see throughout. You're going to see when the product um, deals with the free radicals by creating um, antioxidants. Deep blue. Deep blue is chock full of antioxidants. So these are some of the ingredients that are in deep blue. Um, whole food. Again, nothing. Nothing synthetic. Nothing. Uh, engineered. We've got frankincense. We've got the resveratrol, uh, which is what's found in red wine. We've got ginger, which happens to be 10% off this month. Um, we've got pomegranate, uh, grapeseed extract, 
uh, green tea, and then we've got curcumin. Uh, and I'm going to talk a, a little bit more about the curcumin a little bit later. But so you've got all of these really great products in the deep blue polyphenol complex. Uh, and uh, they are massive, massive, massive antioxidants um, uh, that will do uh, a really big number on addressing inflammation in your body. Now, uh, I said I would talk about uh, the curcumin just a little in a little more detail. I'm going to do that now. So the turmeric capsules uh, are, are, are relatively new to, to us, uh, and they are a fast favorite in this house uh, and with a lot of people that I know. So it helps support a healthy inflammatory response in the body, um, help the body fight free radicals, and protect the body from oxidative damage. So fight free radicals and protect from the oxidative damage that those free radicals are doing by stealing more electrons, combines the complementary benefits of both the turmeric essential oil with the joint support of the curcum curcuminoids of turmeric extract in a unique and, con and convenient delivery system. So they're double encapsulated. So yes, turmeric definitely addresses free radicals with um, massive antioxidants. So let's just take a look at this a little bit closer uh, because you have the benefit of both. This is unique. This is uh, this is something that doTERRA offers that uh, that is not offered to my knowledge uh, and to the last time I checked um, with doTERRA uh, not being offered by anybody else. Um, so the essential oil and the uh, and the whole food uh, product uh, is um, is being are combined, and so the the essential oil is distilled from the turmeric root, uh, and it is uh, chock full of turmerones and a turmerones. So, and this this is the chemistry that makes the uh, turmeric essential oil work, and it is um, really great for feelings of positivity. You can use it aromatically and uh, internally, uh, and it's really great for the immune system and uh, has. Um, um, mood, lots of mood um, promoting benefits. Now, the curcumin, uh, the powder, not the powder, the, um, the whole food uh, portion of, so, sorry, the biologically active ingredient is actually the way that I should be referring to it as. So it's the whole food um, portion of the turmeric, um, supports healthy glucose and lipid metabolism, enhances cellular antioxidant enzymes, healthy nervous and cellular function, and the um, essential oil has been shown to increase the curcumin potency and absorption. So curcumin is the biologically active ingredient in turmeric. Um, it's been used for um, um, thousands of years um, as a uh, as a um, as a medical tool uh, for helping to manage uh, long-term and chronic conditions um, so it's antioxidant helps with inflammatory and immune cells uh, and uh, is I mean you get the best of both worlds in every possible way I use it so sorry just to, to go back so I use it my family uses it as um, for pain management. Uh, and we have lots of success um, with the anti-inflammatory uh, components of it. Now the Adaptive Calming Blend, um, though these are capsules that is a mixture of, of, uh, of uh, a whole food uh, biological active ingredient uh, and essential oils. Um, so it calms and promotes positive feelings, supports mood and improves state of mind, encourages relaxation, supports cognitive function and emotional balance, and helps when acclimating to new surroundings and adapting to stressful situations. Now the adaptive uh, calming blend has, um, has a, uh, has a plant-based 
uh, neurotransmitter uh, uh, um, by the name of GABA uh, in it uh, and ahi flower. And these are very unique uh, and work very synergistically with the essential oils that are part of the adaptive uh, calming blend capsule. Uh, and uh, what this does is it uh, it interacts with the neurotransmitter GABA in your body uh, and really works to help soothe the body in stressful situations. So when we're looking at managing, um, managing anxious feelings, adaptive is your go-to. Uh, it's working directly on the neurotransmitter and the neurotransmitter moves hormones um, uh, throughout your body, uh, and is the chemical relay system throughout your body uh, that um, that helps you make decisions as to how um, how to respond. Uh, and so adaptive is something that we are actually going to spend a lot more time on um, on the stress, sleep, and mood class and emotions class on August the 13th. So don't miss that for more in-depth understanding on how those GABA neurotransmitters and these specific essential oils um, are able to increase um, increase your mood and decrease your stress. Now serenity is our restful complex and it is um, designed to relieve occasional sleeplessness, promote healthy relaxation, encourage restful sleep, um, make a difference in the quality, calm your nerves, calm that mind chatter uh, that happens when we just can't turn the brain off. Um, reduce the stress um, and help you have a, a, um, a relaxing evening and um, a, um, a refreshing morning. And so serenity is not ambient. So it is not a sleeping pill. It is not going to knock you out. Uh, when you use serenity, you often will pair it with the serenity essential oil. Again, it's part of the serenity family. It is not the same thing as the serenity oil. It is the complex. And anytime you see complex, you know that there are whole food, um, active biological ingredients in that bottle. Okay. Um, and so um, we take serenity a half an hour before bed. Uh, we turn off the TV. We don't do last minute vacuuming or dishes. We, we actually are settling down um, into a restful state and we're allowing uh, those, uh, those active ingredients to, um, to help us reach our achieved goal. We go to bed with a goal uh, and um, it helps us, uh, it just helps us get there uh, where we're supposed to be. And again, this, uh, this is another product that we're going to spend a lot more time on looking at on August the 13th. So when we talk about our stress, sleep, and emotions, they're all so closely tied together. And this is a product that really deserves more attention on that day. Now the phytoestrogen and bone nutrient um, are part of the, uh, the women's series and we do a little bit of a disservice to this because the bone nutrient really uh, is something that uh, should be, um, we should be talking about more with men. Um, men have, uh, have difficulty with calcium, especially with today's diets uh, and magnesium. If you're a man and you suffer from restless leg syndrome, the bone nutrient is, the, is an amazing choice to be taking. I know personally because I have restless leg syndrome and I use the, my, uh, the bone nutrient, which has lots of great magnesium. Uh, in it and so I get the magnesium and the calcium uh, and uh, the absorption is uh, is really great it it really helps with the restless leg uh, the restless leg syndrome so man um, man or woman um, can take that so it helps now if you're using uh, this this series so the phytoestrogen and the bone nutrient now phyto means plant these are plant estrogens natural estrogens that come from things that we're eating um, these are not synthetic estrogens this is not hormone replacement therapy 
Um, these help balance and support normal hormone levels, supports healthy bones, breast tissue, body structures, contains a flaxseed extract. There is there is actually, in the phytoestrogen, there are three ingredients. Um, there's a flaxseed extract, a standardized pomegranate extract, and a very specific type of soy that is not linked to breast cancer. Um, and so if that is something of interest, if you are currently on a um, on an enzyme replacement therapy, this is something that you that you really should consider talking to your physician about. doTERRA has lots of supporting information that you can take with you. So just so to have in the back of your mind. Um, now we uh, are going to take a deeper look at this again on the women's health and hormones class on August the 20th. So um, keep track of that. I think it's time. I think I missed my first um, opportunity to give you the secret code word. So the first secret code word is antioxidants. Uh, and uh, we'll get to the second one here probably pretty quick. Um, okay, so antioxidants are is the first secret code word. Um, now, the Mito2 Max. So the Mito2 Max is, uh, is a really wonderful uh, a supplement that uh, you can be taking in place of things like energy drinks, caffeine pills, uh, anything that you're currently using that is uh, synthetically created uh, to give you energy, uh, energy and stamina. So the Mito2 Max has a direct impact on the mitochondria. This little guy here, this looks like a slipper, actually, um, as I was putting it on here. Here. But this is a mitochondria and it's it's been cut open so that you can see a little cross section of what's inside a mitochondria. So this is um, the, what is called the energy for life comes from within the mitochondria of each of our cells and the synergy that occurs between the mitochondria between the cells. Okay, so we need to have uh, we need to have really good uh, energy output. Uh, from our cells and the mitochondria do that. So it enhances stamina, mental energy, and efficient use of oxygen, right? We want lots of oxygen moving through our body, our right? blood cells up to our brain. Um, we want uh, for positive mitochondrial function, um, aerobic capacity and stamina without the use of harmful stimulants. So losing the monsters, losing the rock stars and whatever else there is. Um, and um, of course, alternative to caffeinated drinks, right? Um, there is no caffeine uh, in uh, Mito2 Max. And in fact, what you're looking at is a big laundry list of, of uh, really um, healthy um, ingredients. So we've got, they're broken down into three categories, energy cofactors, circulation support, and adaptogenic blend. Okay, and um, just got little, uh, just uh, uh, some pictures here to sort of illustrate. Uh, I'm a very visual person um, on, uh, you know, what these ingredients are. Oops, sorry about that, folks. So um, we've got the, the acetyl L-carnitine. This primarily comes from meat, okay? The um, oligonol, so that's green tea and lychee. So, I mean, I drink a lot of green tea, but I don't have a whole lot of fresh lychee in my house. Um, how about the, uh, the alpha lipoic acid, the quercetin, the CoQ10, uh, and then this funky little root here called cordyceps. Um, it, uh, these are all um, very specific. They're energy cofactors uh, that could, you could get into. So we've got coenzymes and coenergy factors and, and all of these things help to produce the energy that comes out of a cell. And then we have something really special called ashwagandha root, um, which has been called the herb of the ages due to its many uses. And, um, it does, um, uh, it does an amazing job of working on your adrenals is what a naturopath told me. Uh, and, um, I've worked with a couple of people who have also been to a naturopath who said that, um, it's the very first thing that they, they prescribe when somebody comes in and, and it's determined that adrenal fatigue is, they're really struggling with ashwagandha root. Uh, is the way to go. Uh, and so, and doTERRA, of course, sources all of their products 
um, very cleanly and ethically. And so you know you're getting a good, uh, a good product when you're getting your ashwagandha root as part of, um, as part of the Mito2 Max. Now, quercetin, I just uh, stuck on here as a plant pigment or a flavonoid, right? Haven't we been told flavonoids? Flavonoids are in all the brightly colored vegetables and fruits and in the peel of all of the, um, all of those fruits. And so um, we get that quercinoid. Um, that's what we're looking for. Quercetin, sorry, um, is the active ingredient in the flavonoids. Okay, so you can see all of these really great things. Um, are inside these tiny little pills. Um, now, how about the zendocrine complex? I'm going to spend a little bit of time going through the zendocrine complex because it it's a uh, uh, it doesn't get its its just rewards. Um, and not enough people understand the value of a good clean endocrine system. So I want you to think about what's in your endocrine system. Now, the endocrine. If you were to go see an endocrine doctor, it might be because you have diabetes. Um, it might be because you've got um, some thyroid things. So there's all kinds of um, issues that are that have a direct impact on our endocrine system. So the um, the organs in the endocrine system are liver, kidney, colons, lungs, skin. Um, you can add pancreas um, to that, right? So you've got um, all of these um, all of these really great organs that we rely on to keep our body clean and healthy, they need to be kept clean and healthy too, right? So the chimney cleans and, uh, uh, out our house, keeps the smoke from coming inside, but somebody from time to time has to clean that chimney too. So it supports normal detoxification. Um, you take two uh, um, capsules daily in the morning and the evening, and you can combine it with the Zendocrine blend or the soft gel. So again, this is part of the Digest Zen series, uh, and it is a Zendocrine complex, uh, which means it's bio uh, got biologic active ingredients. Now, the Zendocrine, um, we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at that. So the Zendocrine detox complex. So it's got, this is the one that has uh, 14 whole food extracts in it. And there's, looks like there's way more than 14. That's because um, one, one extract like um, the milk thistle um, is in, you know, cleanses, cleanses the liver and the skin. Okay. So it's, you know, in more than one, um, covers more than one organ. Uh, and so uh, when you take a look at uh, the organs that are in here, so liver, kidneys, colon, lungs, and skin, Zendocrine does a really good job at, uh, at keeping these, uh, these organs working um, to their maximum capacity. Uh, and uh, this does a detox and a cleanse. Now you can take this routinely um, if you're someone that is uh, that really needs extra endocrine support, or you can take it periodically as part of a cleansing program, uh, and uh, like the GX Assist, if you're going to do a, um, a cleanse of some sort, or you can just do this to, this cleanse, you know, quarterly kind of thing, or every, bi yearly, uh, however often your body feels like it needs it. Again, you have to listen to your body. There are guidelines that we put into place, but then we listen to our body based on symptoms, how we're feeling. Uh, and, um, and we have the resources and the people available to help with that. Now, if you're wondering um, about the difference between these two, because here's where we, you know, people tend to, to, to be confused and so then they don't choose either because they don't know which one to choose. So the Zendocrine complex promotes healthy functioning of the endocrine system, okay? So it cleanses, um, detoxifies uh, the liver, kidneys, colon, lungs, and skin. Now the essential oil supports the healthy function. So let me ask you a question. If your liver, kidneys, colon, lungs, and skin aren't working all that great, the Zendocrine oil is going to have to work way harder than it maybe can. Because again, remember, oils aren't magic. So we have, to, uh, we have to keep that in perspective, that we need to have good foundation in order for the oils to work their best. So once in a while, 
doing a Zendocrine complex detox uh, might be necessary uh, so that your organs can then work work on a on a on a more functional level and you can add your zendocrine uh, to a smoothie or you can put it in a veggie cap or you can drop it under your tongue or you can take it in a shot of water or orange juice um, however you want to take it or in your tea um, to help you you know uh, in between you when you do your cleanses um, so we have to clean we have to clean our fridge once in a while we got to clean our body once in a while um, oops, sorry. Uh, this should not be on here. Let me just, uh, <laughs> let me just remove that for a sec. Um, what I'm going about to show you here is the, uh, the, um, the yarrow. Um, the yarrow, here we go. The yarrow palm cellular beauty complex. Uh, so Let's just uh, take a look at this. So improves skin firmness and reduces skin, in, skin imperfections. It illuminates and brightens your complexion, provides powerful antioxidant support, promotes cellular health, supports healthy metabolic function, and helps maintain the skin's youthful appearance by combating oxidative stress. So the Yarrow Palm is a cellular beauty complex that yes, is uh, part of its its uh, its platform of of functions um, is to provide um, healthier more useful skin uh, youthful skin as part of a um, uh, a skin um, appearance uh, in a in a way that um, allows for um, healthy um, and clear uh, complexion but also in a way that takes a look at the fact that your skin is your largest organ. Uh, and so uh, it wants to help keep your skin uh, as healthy as possible uh, because it does function as an organ. Uh, and we tend to forget that and be more, uh, just be more concerned with the fact that skin is, uh, is, is often something that we just tend to look at superficially as opposed to actually having a really significant function on our body um, and so um, as we uh, as we move through uh, the classes again this this one lots of free radical and antioxidant uh, support we're going to take a deeper look at this one again on the uh, on the skincare uh, when we take a look at the skincare classes okay uh, now just to uh, bring all of our little characters up. So nutrition and supplements. So we, we skipped over, you know, four different products that we're going to take a closer look at when in the, in their more appropriate class, but you get a little taste for some of the benefits. Let me throw out code word number two before we get to the very end. Code word number two, enzymes. <laughs> So, um, code word number two, enzymes, um, as I'm looking at our little enzyme guy here. So, of course, we have the mitochondria slipper, uh, and then we have antioxidants and free radicals, uh, and we have enzymes, right? So, little Pac-Man is our enzyme, um, and he um, has a little perfect triangle that only fits, our little digestive enzyme only fits on the uh, food molecules, um, substrates that uh, are provided. So we want to make sure that all of these, uh, these little characters actually are built on and work best on the foundation of the Lifelong Vitality Pack of a good quality whole food multivitamin omega and, um, and uh, cellular support program. And we want to do them on a routine basis. Now, this is an example of taking some nutrition, um, nutrition and supplements uh, that you know you might that might be of value for you. So you can look at taking something like two turmeric and one PB assist every morning. We're going to talk next week about the probiotic, um, lifelong vitality, terazyme because we're eating, and adaptive to start the day off because adaptive is going to you know boost our mood. 
uh, lifelong vitality at lunch and a terrazyme because we're again we're eating in the mito 2 max because we're going to hit that afternoon slump right we're going to lose energy and then at bedtime we've got the yarrow palm complex we want to do lots of healing to our skin uh, and allow our skin to regenerate uh, itself uh, overnight while we're sleeping uh, and then the copaiba and the serenity because those are really going to help us to stay calm and relaxed and allow our bodies um, to get the, the rest that we need. So this might be something that you would take. You wouldn't take all of the supplements. Nobody takes all of the supplements. You would spend all day doing nothing but taking pills. Uh, you only need to take what your body, uh, what your body requires. This is an example. So we um, have seen an example of this, but this is an example of something that you might be looking at on a, uh, on a monthly basis. So a wellness box uh, or what we call in doTERRA, the loyalty rewards program. This is an example of uh, placing an order uh, that allows you to earn uh, that allows you to earn loyalty reward points. Uh, and uh, you can see that on this order in particular, so these are the kinds of things that, this is an example of an order that I place every month. Uh, and it earns, it has a value of 138 points. So it has me earning 41 doTERRA dollars. That's 30% back in doTERRA dollars for me to spend next month on just the products that my family uses every month for foundational health, good digestion, good emotional support, for cleansing my house and my body, and then for immunity protection uh, and for being out in the public nowadays, right? So we need to have our, our hand sanitizer that is um, CDC and, and uh, WHO approved and uh, on guard meets those criteria. Um, oh, sorry. Now, um, the third, uh, the third um, password or secret word uh, is, um, oh, energy, uh, is energy. And we are going to move into our, um, our business portion. So if you would like to stay and just hear um, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this a little bit differently as well. So building your pipeline. This is, I'm going to just share with you a little bit of information about why it is uh, that I do doTERRA. Uh, as a business, uh, and maybe some of the some of the reasons why it might be of interest for you, uh, and how sharing just with the people that you know and love already, um, how it actually uh, it can help you get your product for free. Okay, um, so we're going to take a look at uh, this building your pipeline. And I will have a secret code word for you um, as well for this. Um, and over the course of the next seven weeks, I'm going to ask you one question a week. Uh, and so that we're only talking about one um, in particular instead of going over the same thing um, every time. So we're going to ask you these seven questions. And the first question that I'm going to ask you is, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, and a quote from one of my wellness advocate partners is um, from Nicole Cook. I love that I can still work full time while I build my dream part time. Um, so this is a perfect example of where she wants to be and where I wanted to be uh, when I took a look at five, five years ago. Um, I was in a traditional job. Uh, I was a community social worker at the time that, uh, that I left um, my job, uh, my daytime job, and uh, for health reasons, but then did not go back to it. Uh, um, and of course, what I did was dependent on somebody else's opinion of how I worked and, and uh, what kind of successes I had. And um, I had to meet, of course, their deadlines uh, and work at, uh, at their pace for their goals. Um, I wanted to build a pipeline. Um, I wanted to have true residual income. I wanted to have no limits on how far I could go, how fast I could go, and I wanted to choose my own schedule and build my own dreams. I am building my own dream, uh, and my dream is having a huge effect on others, um, being able to 
to build their own dream. So that's the difference between hauling buckets and building a pipeline. And so how it goes is uh, when I was first introduced, I was told the story of the gentleman who uh, decided uh, that uh, the job that he currently had of hauling buckets, so back and forth, he was hauling water buckets and he was going to the well three, four times a day and people would pay him for doing, putting in that physical labor and bringing the water. So that was me going um, to the community or going to the hospital or going, you know, wherever it was that I was working. That was me every day hauling my buckets, um, helping my helping people, uh, but really not feeling all that fulfilled myself. Um, again, working somebody else's dream um, by somebody else's rules. And uh, I wanted to build my own pipeline. I had my own vision of how I think things should be done. And I wanted to work at a pace that was suitable for me and my family. Uh, and so um, I started building a pipeline and uh, I put aside, now for me, I was able to put aside my daytime job uh, and devote all of my time and energy to building that pipeline. Some people need to continue to work full time and build their pipeline at night, where the story of the gentleman was that he was building, uh, he was hauling his buckets during the day to pay the bills, and then he was working extra hard. He was building his pipeline in the evening. He was working on, uh, on his uh, building his pipeline so that eventually he was able to have that pipeline built and he was able to go to the village, turn on the spigot, and uh, water flowed freely. And he from now on um, needed to maintain that pipeline, uh, but he no longer had to build it and he no longer had to haul buckets. Uh, and uh, so he just got to, um, to enjoy uh, the benefits of his hard work. And uh, this is this was the difference for me. Um, there's there's a, a, a lot of hard work um, put into building a pipeline. Um, the question is, is, is this um, something that you would like to see different in your life in five years? In five years, do you want to continue to be hauling buckets? Or in five years, do you want to have a pipeline in place um, so that you can uh, maybe do a few other things or enjoy life differently. Uh, and uh, and uh, that was a question, that's a question that I have for you. And it was a question that I had to ask myself. I chose to build a pipeline and now I am earning an income uh, that, uh, that contributes to my family um, and that pays the bills uh, and uh, is, continues to grow um, as that pipeline um, continues to grow. So if you want to know more um, information, I encourage you to, uh, to reach out to, uh, to me or the person that invited you. Uh, and uh, especially if this resonates with you and suddenly you just know it's time to start something new and trust the magic of beginnings. So um, if this sounds like you and you want to know a little bit more, uh, there is uh, on um, the second Monday of every month, a uh, a part two to this building this pipeline series where we'll give you a little more information and um, answer your questions specifically about what's all involved in earning 20 bucks or 20,000 uh, a month um, depending on what your goals are and and uh, uh, what you want to do uh, with that. So um, this month, however, uh, it is next Monday. So that's the third Monday of the month. Um, you are welcome to join at 6.30 Pacific time on this Zoom channel. Uh, and I would love to have you there. So um, that is all for today. I am just going to stop the recording. And then if there's any questions, feel free to ask.